York City. what comedians' lives are like off stage. I'm going to tell a story about driving around strippers and escorts at night. This show is a peek into that world. The same company that by night you would call to get all your prostitution needs covered. Same phone number as what you would call to get, like, a character sent to your kid's birthday party, like a Big Bird or some shit like that. The host of the show has told a story or a joke or something. Story time. And he's used the word midget. Dance to what's on, motherfucker. And it was like Dr. Dre or some shit like that. So I'm like dancing in a Winnie the Pooh costume for a little kid. Denzel Washington's in the building. Shot a motherfucker in So the one night, uh, Mousy had a party. Keep away from your girl. Everybody was there, froggy, spooky, smiling, everybody. Next thing I know, this dude runs up on stage and we're in a fist fight. And the last thing I remember is someone shouts out, I got 20 on the nigga with the fucked up shoes. You know, which is me. Jessica, you're such a lightweight, Essa. You're always fucking blacking out, homegirl. What's up, maniac? <laughs> it's elephant tranquilizer, Froggy? I don't know. You know, you have surf days, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's not midget, it's little person, and I'm a little person, and you're using a bigoted, prejudicial term. Pretty soon, Louie and I are sitting right next to each other. And you're ruining my birthday! And our legs are touching. There's a dude with a baby carriage with no baby in it. You know when you realize that it's not an accident? It's got ice and beers and Lucy cigarettes, and across the top is laid a prosthetic leg with a flip-flop on it. Uh, I believe a chocolate. <laughs> and that is the story, my friends, of PCP and the crinoline skirt. Thank you guys so much.